Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. So now that you have a microphone on the desktop, what are you going to do with it? You're probably going to record sound. Uh, Zoomrix uh, is asking, which is the better sound editing software, Audition or SoundForge? That's, it's so difficult when you when you use the word best with any kind of product, whether it be hardware or software, because best is very relative, for the most part. There are there are some best of classes out there for for certain uh, product lines uh, or genres, but as far as the best or better of of, of two products, uh, if I had a choice between Audition or SoundForge, uh, personally, my personal choice would be SoundForge. I find its interface to be a lot less cluttered, and the newer version of SoundForge, very, very high-end audio editing product, is kind of, it's expensive, but it also comes with a new plug-in uh, that does noise cancellation, uh, which really, really helps clean up a lot of bad audio uh, that might be floating around. Uh, I just found that for, for a while, see you, Fixie, uh, for a while there, um, I uh, when I was trying Audition, it, the interface, which I believe if memory serves, it was based on Cool Edit, which used to be a, a shareware program of years ago. I'm pretty sure it's based on Cool Edit, if I remember right. Uh, and years ago, I actually used uh, Gold Wave. Uh, in fact, I think I registered Gold Wave, and it's still around for an audio editor. Uh, a lot of people recommend um, the open source Audacity for audio editing, but um, I don't think, I, you know, I, I, honestly, I, I wouldn't put. Uh, Audacity in the same class as a uh, as a, a SoundForge, which of course is a Sony product, uh, or even Audition, which is definitely very, 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 very powerful. Um, you know, I, I've also gone, you know, as a segue, segue to the last from the last video about asking about the video products that I recommend. Um, I pr also got SoundForge Audio Studio, which is a, a kind of a uh, a watered down version of the full on SoundForge product. Doesn't have all the plugins and all the features and functionality, but for 20 bucks, you know, I figured I'd give it a shot, see how well it works. Uh, and, you know, I, while I use the full on SoundForge, uh, this is something I'm going to give to Ponzi so she can start playing around it and start messing with audio. I think SoundForge is a good, uh, is a really solid product, and for 20 bucks, you really can't miss. Um, not that much more expensive than, uh, you know, freeware, 20 bucks. I mean, if you think about it, that's you know, for some that's a lot of money, uh, but for for others, you know, that's a the price of a cup of coffee. Or how much would you pay for a good cup of coffee? Uh, or you know, uh, you know, price out uh, for going out to eat, uh, you know, that week, and you know, scrimping and saving pennies. Um, you know, you'd be surprised at how soon that adds up. In fact, that's that's a recommendation. Uh, as a side thing, I realize this isn't directly related to the question, but save all your change for an entire year, uh, and then at the end of that year. Take that change, uh, well, at least locally here in Seattle, we have these things called coin stars, and you basically take your coins to the grocery store, dump them in this thing, and it tells you, or it gives you your money back. But if you just ask for direct cash, it will give you, like, uh, it, it, it'll take 10% or like 8% off the top, but you can actually ask for that money in an Amazon.com gift certificate. And that's what I did, and I ended up this last year saving apparently $300 worth of change. So I had $300 that just came out of nowhere. Uh, so that's one way that you can use that as your shareware fund uh, or software fund for the year. Uh, but I, I'd recommend uh, you know going that route so that when you get you know you can get cheap software and it does it feels like it's free because like normally you just throw change away. Everybody got everybody has change. Just save it up, put it in a jar, and at the end of the year uh, take it in, and you'd be surprised at how much money you'll have in, in loose change. Maybe not $300 worth, but apparently I've. I've got a lot of loose change lying around. So there's some recommendations for you. There's a, a little tip on, on where to find free money, so to speak, uh, to buy fantastic software. Uh, and then always wait for a rebate or if you can get a coupon, and maybe I, I'd be able to get a coupon for some of these audio products for you. Don't know. Swing by the chat room. Swing by the live video at live.perillo.com.